All right, so people were asking what fried cabbage and bacon is, and it's literally this. <laughs> it's a half a head of cabbage finely chopped up with bacon that's also finely chopped up. And then you just saute it over the stove. You don't even need to use oil because the bacon creates its own, like, bacon grease. You want to go low and slow with this. Add a little bit of salt, but not an insane amount of salt. The bacon already has a lot of salt in it. And this is all it is. It's like actually one of my favorite things. It's a southern dish. The cabbage is always good for you. I started out with this pan full, like overflowing, and slowly it'll shrink down. That's how you know it's done. This cabbage will shrink down until it'll just be a little pile in the middle. That's when you know it's done. It takes about 12 minutes from start to finish on low heat until this is all done. It's super worth it. Get you. Do you want to know how to get all the sauce to the top of the bottle? Hold it like this and then swing it around like you're about to pitch for like the Yankees. Like this. So what happened was, here is what happened. What happened was, I got this awesome package on Thursday morning. And it's amazing. Like, there's stress balls, which honestly, I swear to God, there ain't nothing I need more in my life than these stress balls. Live more. Worry less. Life is a journey, not a race. And uh, choose happy. Yes, yes, yes. And then this person also sent all three of my girls, which I really do appreciate. A lot of people send stuff for Haley, but I appreciate that you sent one for each of them. All three of my girls are lip smackers. Now here's what happened. That message got lost in a thousand and like 3,000 messages about Dr. Phil. And I can't find it to credit the person that gave me these kind gifts. So if you're that person, please tag yourself. Good morning, my lovelies. Listen to those birds. Can you hear them? They're telling y'all to have a great day. They're saying go out there today and have a good one. It's Wednesday home day. You made it halfway through the week. I am so proud of you. You can do this. See, you didn't think you could do it, and you can. See, I believed in you all along. I knew you could do it. Now just get through the rest of this day, and then all you have to do is do Thursday, and then you're into Friday, and then the next thing you know, you're at the weekend, and you've done your shit all week. I am so proud of you, bitches. I hope you guys have a good one. It is Wednesday, so I will be making spaghetti. I have a podcast interview with someone with some podcast about healthcare in America. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm going to help support any way I can. And I just found out yesterday that a local church used my stuff. Didn't ask. So I had a lot of people message me yesterday and say, you should have confronted the lady in the Dollar Tree. You should have at least gotten out. She should have said she was sorry. Y'all ain't wrong. Y'all ain't wrong. But I have a tendency because of my childhood to go from like zero to 300 and this woman did not mean to hit my car I literally don't even think she was aware that she did it and um there is a little bit of damage but it's not that bad and should she have said sorry probably she probably wasn't even aware of it and y'all I can't tell you how many doors I've probably hit I have twins so I'm opening both sides of my door every time I get out. And sometimes I probably did hit somebody's car. So it's car karma. It's okay. But here's here's the damage. It's not even that bad. And I don't even know if you can see, but there's a little mark right there. Like a little dent. Not even that bad. I did some videos yesterday about how uh, when I gave birth to my children, I saw angels. And one of those angels was my dead mom. That was not the first time that my dead mom had tried to communicate with me. She tried many many, many, many different times. Um, the first time I was, uh, these, and these were all in my dreams. I would always see her in my dreams. She would, in most of my dreams that involved my mother, involved my mother trying to kill me, trying to hold me down underwater and drown me, chasing me with a chainsaw, uh, smother, like choking me, like with a garrote, like violent murders. My mother was violently murdering me, but she was always trying to communicate something. And in one of them, she was trying to smother, like, 
um, she was trying to uh, suffocate me underwater and I could hear, but I couldn't hear what she was saying because of the water. And then one, she threw me in front of a train and she was screaming something, but then the train whistle. So I could never understand. She was killing me, but I could never understand what she was trying to tell me. You ready to go to bed, buddy? Yeah. Want to tell these guys good night? Good night. All right, let's go, buddy. Okay. Let's take our time. Walk slowly, buddy. Yeah. So the first one where I actually was able to hear what she was saying, I was uh, brushing my teeth and she was standing in the shower and uh, she, I can't remember exactly what happened, but it was like her face, like I could hear like garbled, but then she like was standing across from me with a knife. Like she jumped out of the shower, like she had an actual like psycho and, uh, she was standing there in front of me, but it was like her whole body, instead of her stabbing me, which is what normally would have happened this time, her whole body went through mine, but she went right up into my face. Her face went right up into my face. And when she did, she made this noise. Fuck it. And right when she got here, it was like, fuck it. That's what I heard. So I wake up. I keep starting my videos with so. And then, so, at this point, uh, I need to find, like, a great, like, <laughs> I'm going to start my videos like that. <laughs> then, 